What is going on guys? My name is Kenji, welcome back to my channel. Hope it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a final year medical student and also a biomedical science graduate studying at King's College London. And today I'll be reading you guys here on my iPad uh, exactly the personal statement that I used to apply to biomedical sciences very, very many years ago. But before we start, two points. The first point is that if you want to check out my medicine personal statements, I'll link it up above here as well for you guys to go check that out. If you want a bit more of an idea about personal statements and how to write them, go check out that video over there as well. And the second point is that if you guys don't want to sit here listening to me tell you guys and read you guys my actual personal statements and you want a hard copy for yourself you can grab my personal statement by clicking on the link down below and before i actually read this just to let you guys know this is the first time in probably nine years i'm reading this personal statement i wrote this when i was about 17 years old so it'd be really interesting as well from my point of view to see how i kind of thought and how i wrote when i was 17 years old so don't judge me too much i was a lot younger than i am now uh, but let's go ahead and get started right so first paragraph is i'm determined to study biomedical sciences at university due to my personal experience as one of my closest relatives suffered from skin cancer. This insight has driven me to study how incredible and resilient the human body is and to apply biology based science to medical use. Okay, what I do like here is that my first paragraph straight away was very uh, catchy. It started off giving the reader an explanation as to why I personally wanted to go into biomedical science. And I always kind of advise that when you're writing your own personal statement, try to start off the first paragraph with the reasons as to why you wanted to do the course. Try and make it very personal to you before you actually move on to talk about your academics and all the things that you did in preparation for this degree i think it's nice to start it off with you um what you're about why you wanted to study this degree and that makes it very very nice also your first kind of a uh, sentence has to be very catchy it has to really strike the reader's attention the person who's reading your first statements would only really more or less care about the first paragraph and the last paragraph those are the main parts they'll actually remember in their memory when they're thinking about you in the future so try and make your first paragraph very catchy first line you know to hook the reader and then move on to talk about your academics and everything else you've done what i do however wish i did in this paragraph is to go into a bit more details specifically about you know what happened here how else was i inspired to do biomedical science how else did i go into it i think i should have given a bit more information there but that's all right let's go ahead and carry on reading all right so the second paragraph goes i've studied biology chemistry and mathematics during my a levels this has truly expanded my knowledge on human physiology and biomedical science such as anatomy and cell signaling i also had the chance to further develop my anatomical skills which are essential as a future biomedical scientist okay so now i'm going to paragraph where i talk about my academics and that's definitely what i recommend for you guys to do you know start by talking about yourself, why you want to do biomedical science, and then later move on to your academics. Although what I do wish I did is to go into a bit more detail about the specifics of what I was learning in school. You know, maybe, you know, a particular aspect of the actual uh, subject that I really enjoyed. You know, what am I looking forward to in studying biomedical science? Um, you know, how did I learn these analytical skills that I mentioned I learned? I mentioned here that I developed my analytical skills, but I didn't actually say how I did it and, you know, where it came from. And that's super important when you're writing a personal statement. Don't just talk about, you know, what you have and maybe the skill that you learned but most importantly talk about how you learned it you know give a practical example as to how you did it because you really need to try and provide evidence to the reader so that they feel that you know what this student actually probably has learned that skill so go into a bit more detail about all the skills you learned and where you got them from and moving on to the third paragraph now having undertook a one-week work experience at st thomas's hospital where i was able to obtain a deeper understanding of the roles of physicians nurses and biomedical scientists researchers this inspiring experience made me realize the importance of a patient's life and demonstrated that any career related to the medical field field is multidisciplinary due to different health conditions and needs of patients. So ding, 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 the key word there being multidisciplinary. That's a word that people really, really like to hear in first statement, but moving on. I learned that every team member has the same goal, to provide the best assistance and treatment for the patient. I also participated in healthcare program, where I was able to have an amazing opportunity to gain an insight into, into the NHS jobs and learn more about different roles within the NHS. Furthermore, having the chance to support my relatives suffering from cancer has further strengthened my interest and assured me of the path I want to take. Okay, so I like how I then started focusing on the things that I did outside of my uh, my classes and school. Um, you know, I spoke about the work experience uh, straight away. So if you guys have any sort of work experience in a lab, preferably, or maybe in a hospital, whatever sort of work experience you have, it's definitely important to try, you know, put that across in your first statements. Reading this now, what I do wish I kind of did back then was, you know, go into a bit more detail about what I saw in the lab, you know, I think that this lab experience or this experience in the hospital is super key. So I really should have elaborated on it, you know. What did I see during shadowing? You know, was there any sort of scientific procedure that I found really interesting? You know, what sort of skills that I actually learned by being in that experience, that sort of work experience? That's super important and that's something I really wish I, you know, put across. Again, just letting you guys know that. First off, talk about where you went. So whether that's, you know, shadowing a doctor, maybe shadowing a scientist. And secondly, talk about the skills you learned. And most importantly, third point being how you learned 
learned those skills. That's really important and that's something I wish I kind of elaborated here. But let's go ahead and carry on. I am multilingual, able to fluently read, write and speak English and Kiswahili. This has helped me enhance my communication and listening skills. Furthermore, it puts me at an advantage to confidently have conversations with different people since the UK is very diverse. I taught myself Kiswahili and I'm currently learning Japanese, which has made me confident in approaching any subject I was not proficient in. Okay, like that's, that's, that's pretty good. What I do wish, however, is that I actually included this uh, paragraph, maybe more at the beginning when I was talking about myself. Again, kind of in the introduction paragraph. If you guys check out my medicine purse statement, I started off with why I want to do medicine and then straight away talking about the languages I speak and how that helps me as a person. I think it would have been good to have that at the start and not just kind of straight off my academics because I go from myself to my academics and back to myself. The order doesn't really make sense as much. But anyways, I'm glad that I mentioned that point. So if you speak any other languages or have anything else about you that you want to make across in your first statement, definitely make sure you do that as well. All right, moving on to the next paragraph. I have demonstrated that I'm able to work in the team throughout my academic life, as well as during my extracurricular activities, such as completing the Duke of Edinburgh program. And if you have done this in university, then definitely make sure you mention the, D the DAV. I think a lot of people did that, so definitely put that in there. Carrying on. While doing the trail walk, I was responsible for the well-being of my team members, which was an essential skill that helped me during A-levels when delivering presentations with students. During my free time alongside my studies, I enjoy playing football for my school team and also volunteer in my local British Heart Foundation. These activities have allowed me to practice my leadership skills amongst others and allow me to balance my social life with my academic commitments. Okay, so this final sort of, well, second last paragraph is really essential to talk about your extracurriculars or anything else you did in your life, whether it's the DOV program, you know, whether it's um, any sort of volunteering, you know, with the British Heart Foundation or, you know, in, in a different shop. If you worked a job uh, alongside your studies, maybe in like, you know, a restaurant as a waiter, these are all things you want to put in this paragraph here. And that's also definitely what I did in my medicine purse statements when I applied for medical school um, after this later on. What's also really important is to make sure you also put a little bit about what you like doing outside of school. So maybe you like playing football, like I mentioned here, and why that's really important to you. Maybe you like drawing or reading. It's also really important to have at least one or two sentences about what you do outside of work and how that allows you to balance your studies. Because the person reading this will want to know that you're the sort of person that will be able to balance, you know, studying biomedical science and also having a life outside of it. So that's super important. Let's finally move on to the conclusion. Let's see what I wrote for that. Everything I've accomplished during my academic and daily life has made me more motivated, determined, and passionate to study biomedical science. I believe the skills I have gained from this past few years enabled me to have the confidence and motivation to succeed and become someone that can make a change in the demanding profession. I firmly believe studying biomedical science at your institute will give me skills and stable foundation to further succeed in my future career. Okay, I think as far as conclusions go, that's actually not a bad uh, conclusion whatsoever. I think in this part of the conclusion, it's really important again to try to be a bit snappy, try and grab the reader's attention again because that's how they're going to leave you. You know, try to conclude the personal statements and everything you spoke about really well. In my medicine application, what I actually did is went back to my introduction and kind of referenced my introduction again, which was, you know, wanting to go back to Kenya one day to help the less fortunate people that are left behind. And that was really important for me to get across. And if you have any last few points that you want to, you know, you want to leave the reader with, you want to leave the reader, you know, thinking about how this is an amazing applicant, definitely go ahead and put that there. But my kind of final thoughts on my whole entire personal statement. Firstly, I think I could have structured it a bit better, maybe starting off with an introduction, a bit by myself, then moving on to my academics, and then finally my extracurriculars, and then the conclusion uh, of it right at the end. And that's something I didn't really do here. What I did was introduction about myself, my uh, my A-levels and my sort of uh, academic life, work experience, back to myself, and then conclusion, which is a bit weird. I think I should have actually structured it better. What I also wish I did was probably be a bit more specific. So again, when I'm talking about my work experience, be very specific about what I learned during my work experience when I was shouting these, you know, uh, doctors and also the scientists. I should have actually just, you know, put across what I actually did. What I also wish is that I probably did a bit more extracurricular stuff. So maybe a bit more volunteering, maybe a bit more shadowing, maybe get involved with some research projects. I probably should have done a bit more. But the thing about biomedical science compared to when I applied to medicine is that for biomed, you don't actually need that many things to actually set you apart from competition. That's obviously unless you're applying to like Oxford, Cambridge, Imperial, all those top universities. But I got all my five offers. I applied to Birmingham, uh, Manchester, Southampton, Barts, and I think it was Westminster as well. It was one of those five. But I applied to those five universities, I think, and I got all five offers without actually having done that much outside of my uh, academics. So that's one lucky point about applying for medical science. You know, write it in a nice way, tell them a bit about yourself, talk about everything you've done, and then that probably should be enough to get you into a good university like Birmingham, which is what I ended up going to using this personal statement. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions at all about biomedical science, the personal statement, or the application process, then leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. If you guys are thinking about going to medical school, ask biomedical science, I highly recommend you guys check out the other videos on my channel about the application process and also my free Skillshare course that you can watch absolutely for free by clicking the link down below and I'll also have it linked on the screen uh, afterward. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.